The midterm elections are 14 weeks from today, and Facebook says it has now uncovered a new attempt to interfere with the U.S. political system. Facebook has taken down more than two dozen apparently fake accounts. It says they may be linked to Russia. More now from Vladimir Dutier. Facebook says the 32 pages had more than 290,000 followers and were created between March 2017 and May 2018. Their aim? To spread misinformation and meddle in the midterm elections. Facebook's chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg, called this fight an arms race when she spoke to reporters during a conference call. This kind of behavior is not allowed on Facebook because we don't want organizations or individuals creating networks of accounts that mislead people about who they are or what they're doing. Some of the pages focused on divisive issues, antagonizing both sides. CNET technology producer Dan Patterson. The goal was simply to make the United States weaker and to make our allies less confident in the United States' ability to achieve our foreign policy goals. Sandberg would not confirm if the Russians were behind these campaigns. We're still in the very early stages of our investigation, and we don't have all the facts, including who may be behind this. But Republican and Democratic lawmakers quickly blamed Russia. In 2016, Facebook failed to stop bots created from the Russian Internet Research Agency, which infiltrated news feeds of thousands of Facebook users. A point reiterated today by Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. It was the Russians. We know that. They know that. It was directed from the highest levels. And we cannot and will not allow that to happen again. Patterson says for Facebook, this is just the beginning of the war. We know that the coordinated attack in 2016 was an ongoing attack, meaning it never stopped. But external actors, many of them likely foreign uh, governments, are continuing to meddle in the election. By disabling these pages and having this call today, Facebook is attempting to get ahead of foreign actors who continue to try and interfere in U.S. elections. But Patterson says hackers are aware they're being tracked and that they're able to apply technology that disguises the origin of those attacks, Jeff. It's going to be an ongoing issue for Facebook and many others. And other social media platforms as well. That's right, right. Vlad, thanks.